Welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. It is the preview show for the big one. It's the Derby at Ibrox on Sunday. I'm joined by Declan and Scott. First of all, boys, how do we feel about this? What's the feeling coming into the game? Can you sum it up? Is it nervous? Is it excited? What is it? There's a bit of nerves. Um, there's a bit of nerves. I always kind of, kind of play it down a wee bit. Uh, I don't like to think about it too much for the game, but here we are talking about it. Um, I don't feel massively confident. Um, I'm just kind of worried about right back position, worried about Ayer, Edward I think will probably pull through. Um, I really wanted a strong 11, uh, that would have kind of settled the nerves a wee bit. I don't think we're in as good shape as we could have been in terms of who's available. Yeah. So that's playing on my mind a wee bit. Um, apart from that I know that Rangers have progressed a bit and uh, there's been a lot made of that. We'll see on Sunday how far they've progressed. Mm. Um, I think I think they're going to get a goal. Uh, as I said in the, the post-match paint, I think they'll score. I think we're guaranteed to score as well. And as long as the game starts the way that the game has to start, we're in with a chance. And as long as we don't turn up to Ibrox the way we did last year, we're in with a chance. So we can do it. We've got the quality. We just need to make sure all the cogs are turning in the right order and we'll be fine. Declan, again, these games are always huge. The first one in the season particularly as well. We know the league isn't going to be won and lost no. on Sunday, but huge psychologically. For us, how do you feel coming into it? Um, I just hope it's a case of third time lucky. Uh, last season, of course, it's very difficult to go there when you don't have a big travelling support. Mm. Uh, the players, our players, I hope, will have started to get used to that environment that they're going into. Uh, both clubs obviously good results in the Europa League to make the group stages. There's always nerves going into this game. Uh, of course, it's the same three points you would get against any team, but I just hope we show up this time and try and do our best to make a statement or intent for the rest of the season. Aye, definitely. I think as, as Scott alluded to as well, it's huge at seeing these games. We need to match their tempo. We need to set the we tempo. We need to set it. We and don't want to match them. We no, need to set they're it. the home team. So they're the home team, and we couldn't get near their tempo last season. So we need to at least match their tempo. Ah, uh, yeah, at least. I think their press put us under a lot of pressure. You know, like they're the home team, and they're going to they're going to come out and attack us, and oh, we need to match it. They will. We need to match it. They'll go at us for the third the goal that they did, and it, it's worked. You know, and that's been the difference in Rangers under Gerard compared to previous, where you've been asking yourself the question of how many goals are we going to score going to Ibrox. They're happy to have a go at us, which puts us under immense pressure. So, to me, that midfield is going to be key in, you know, getting something on Sunday. Getting on the front foot, as I was going to say, before I was really interrupted. Oh, um, this is you. It's matching the tempo and setting the tempo if we can. We, we can't set the tempo if we can't even get to their tempo. They're going to come out fighting for the word goal like they always do at Ibrox. Yeah. And we need to be ready for it. Can we get in the front foot? None of what we've seen for the Celtic team last season, as I said yesterday. No. I didn't see a Celtic team at Ibrox last season. I've seen guys turn up and wear green and white, but I didn't see a Celtic team in either of the games. And it's a cliche, but midfield is so important, as Declan's touched on there. We've seen uh, Arfield and Brown last season at Ibrox particularly. That's a battle Scott Brown has got to stand up and, and win. He's got, to, he's got to bring a level of performance so much better than, than what he put in in these games last season. Um, McGregor and Christie, you would think, in midfield, we know there might be a, a enchant might come in there and then we can move players about further up the field, but... As long as it's further up the field, and all back the way. Not back the way, aye. Um, Christie and McGregor, you would think, if it is going to be probably up against maybe Davis and Jack, but that midfield battle is key for us in order to get a foothold in the game. Absolutely, absolutely. I think Scott Brown's got to turn up like he hasn't done last year. This year he's kind of looked a bit more leggy, a bit more slow, and, and I hate talking negatively about Scott Brown, but it is what it is. Um, so, but I think he'll be up for it. These are the games that he loves. These are the games that he loves. Um, so, again, I, I'm, I'm looking for Scott Brown to bounce back. He's been in for a lot of criticism, but he's going to be massively important for us on Sunday. Um, so, 100% belief in him, um, and I think he's... He's got the experience that, that we need in that middle of the park. I think without Scott Brown in there, there might be a level of... I mean, Callum McGregor's very experienced now, um, but Christie's not got huge mm. uh, Derby experience, so I, I really think we need him in there, but we need him 100%. Definitely. Huge game this for Scott Brown, Declan. 
massive point to prove after after last season. Who who do you think? Have you seen? Don't know if you've seen much of Rangers this season so far. I watched I'm, them last night. I've been seeing a great deal. So last night. do you think that in that midfield three? Do you think they are going to go with Davis, Jack, and Aribo? Uh, possibly maybe Kamara in there. Mm. Uh, he played very well against us in our two 0 victory. I imagine Aribo and Jack will be definite starters, mm. Davis or Kamara, Davis or Kamara think, yeah. um, but whoever's in there will be up for a battle, and it's a battle that, to me, we need to win. Definitely. 15 goals in three league games so far, Scott. 39 goals in 12 in all competitions, so we're averaging more than three goals, 3.25 goals a game. There's, there's goals in this team, as we've said again and again so far this season, so you would be confident that we can get on the score sheet. Absolutely. Last year I think we lacked uh, being clinical in front of goal and we've really got that this year. Um, I think we're converting a lot more chances than we used to. And I don't even think we need to make as many clear cut chances now that we used to to get the same goal tally. So I think we're guaranteed goals uh, on Sunday. I also think they will get a goal as I keep saying. Um, it's almost, and, and I, do you know what I'd like to see as well? And, and the neutrals will love to see just a game where it's like who can score more goals. Mm. Um, they, they've been relatively strong at the back. I mean, they, they, it took them, they get two clean sheets against uh, Legia Warsaw. Uh, they have conceded on the league. Break down. You know, they've conceded in the league, I. Kelly got a goal and mm. Hibs scored at Ibrox um, too, so. But see, after the Dunfermline game for us, I started to think anybody can score against us. Mm. So when, when, when Dunfermline get um, a goal, you're starting to think, we've just lost four goals against Cluj. We've just lost a goal there. Anybody can score against mm. us, and it's because of that kind of the shifting about at the back. We're not really getting a solid back four, and where people are deputising, people are getting shoehorned left, right, and centre. Aye. So we need to get a run of games, and we're just hoping that, that we we aren't put under too much pressure. And have these clubs together on Sunday, and and we don't show the frailties that we have in the past couple of weeks. Here I would there. maybe disagree with that to an extent because the past three games kept a clean sheet against Stockholm at Celtic Park, and then uh, the game against Hearts and last night. Uh, a penalty. So when we've actually conceded, it's not been from general mm, play. Yeah. So, but um, Mr. Madden might help that on Sunday. But um, that that's something I wanted to touch on. You said about the penalties there in uh, 12 games in all competitions. As I said, we have conceded 12 goals, and albeit I like, and as you say in the past, maybe the IK tie in the Hearts mm. game, looking a little bit more sturdy defensively, but. It still looks like, as I said in the post-match pint last night, we're still giving up some chances. But there is a chance that, that showed, so and when they, they hit the post, mm. AIK, you know, and if we'd have conceded that, I mean, that could have been really back to the wall stuff. Mm. But fortunately, man, so as Scott said, and that's how I think I think the game is is going to be one of these classics. I think it's got everything in store for it to be a Should classic be, yeah, because definitely. we are giving up some chances just now and I think that there's goals in both teams. Oh, they, they, I mean, middle to front, we're excellent and Rangers are scoring goals, so, you know, the, the two of them are hiding in here, maximum points, first time since 2010, both mm. clubs have headed into the first uh, derby game and maximum points, so, just need to wait and see. That's huge. Um, I'm going to push these for prediction now, I know I asked you mm -hmm. briefly about this last night. Um, any any changes? Any any thoughts? No, I think similar to what I was saying before. Um, I, I think what I'm really hoping for is that we get the first goal. I think that's very important. Yeah. Even though when we lose the first goal, we seem to claw it back. That seems to switch us on. Um, so I, I think we want to get the first goal. So we get the first goal. As long as Rangers don't score until after half time, I think it's our game. I, I've just got a feeling that our fitness will be slightly better than them, and that will mm. prove very. Because I think it's going to be a, a an end to end game. Mm. I think we're, we're going to both be going for it. So uh, I'm still going to stick by my 2 1, 3 1. I'm probably more inclined to say 2 1 Celtic. Two, one. Declan, another thing I just want to touch on there before we came to the predictions is talking about the way Rangers set up midfield. They like to pack the park centrally. Um, we know they like to press, and, and particularly at home, we've seen that in, in the games against them last season. But if we can get by that press, then 
hopefully we can get the wingers isolated up against the Rangers fullbacks because that's probably the weakest area. I think left back is an area where the Rangers are really struggling just now. And obviously we've seen um, Taverni maybe not the strongest defensively in the past. So huge if it's going to be Forrest and Johnson or maybe we'll see uh, in Cham in the team and then Christie yep. move out to one of the wings and Forrest to the other huge game for them and, it, and if we can get them into the dangerous positions 1v1 then hopefully we can get some joy for that yeah I definitely agree with that I know Barisic obviously scored the free kick at St Mirren but those two positions and there's still questions whether he'll actually play you mm. know Gerard seems to like Flanagan so it could yeah. be him in there I think he came on last night yeah he did and either way I think if you get the ball to Forrest who, who was immense again in Stockholm and uh, is in some form if he can turn up and be a big player for us, as well as Edward and Christie and all the other guys that you need for this, we can go there and we can win the game. Definitely. Score prediction? 2-1 Celtic. 2-1 Celtic, yeah. that's 2-2-1 two, two, oh, Celtics. Yeah. I'm going to say 2-2. Two, two. Um, I oh, just think there's... What? I know. Shocking. Oh, come I know. on. I just... I think there's goals. <laughs> there's goals for us. I think there's goals in it for them. And at home, given the performances you put in... Uh, Sorry, them being at home and given our performances at Ibrox last season, I think, I think a point. That wouldn't, wouldn't be the worst result, result for us, though. No, it definitely wouldn't, wouldn't be the worst result no, in the world. Because it would say something that we can actually go there and take something, which we were in the bit to do last season. We can even score there. So definitely, yeah. and obviously, then that gives us a good platform with the, the two Celtic Park derbies to come, and only having to go to Ibrox once more uh, around about March, April time. So, I'm going two two. Um, like the video, comment your own thoughts in the game below. We'll be back with the starting 11 prediction. That will be in a separate video coming up. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already. We're over 18,000 now. The quicker we get to 20, the better. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on Sunday for the game.